Opening up and high ball, filling the machine, um, this is a refurbished machine. So then with some parts, with some spare parts, and some very small nozzles for this person's application. An extension hose to keep the machine further away from the stand if necessary. Put it out the hoses. The controller. And the system. The system's locked in with this pin. Hang on for that. Okay. Remove the machine. And remove this piece. This piece can be slid on and used as a uh, stabilizing part for the stand. It can also hold the control panel remotely uh, for use. Uh, just somewhere else near the machine without the stand. But usually best to keep it in the stand, that's where it's safest. I'm going to put that on right now. First thing you want to do is secure your machine stand. So you're using that pin again. Just tighten it up in there. And then that's held nice and secure to there. Put this on. That just gets even more secure. Now we want to put our control panel. into the side. There's two hoses. This is an op optional heater for people that are using it for bombs. So we have a 12 volt uh, adapter, foot pedal, and some air. The air hose, and some air. And then attach this air hose to my air line. Put the 12 volt into here. We have pressure at 5 bar, which is perfect, so that should be adjusted already, and uh, don't mess with that. And there we are, it's running. Um, sometimes open. It's barely open, so first thing you're going to want to do is open up the back so that you have a long enough stroke and you have to hold the pedal down while you're doing that to take the pressure off of it. So that's halfway. So there's a lot of turns that go on here. 
Oh, we want to test it at a full, medium, and low. You can see the numbers lining up here and the numbers here, which you can always keep record of. So you say you want, you know, 1945 and get into the right into there and then you know you've got the same measurement every time. I'm just gonna open it up here. Don't go past the back number. Now I release it. Now it's taking a full stroke. That's the output stroke. It's very really slow because I've set it slow right now. And then um, on the input, you want to find section like that. That's just, uh, don't do that without a glove. Um, that's just one of the troubleshooting things you can do when you're finding that something's not working. If there's no suction here, then you know the problem's somewhere past here. Uh, but if there is suction, then you know it's in your lower check valve. So, this is going to be a uh, box to put the little check valve on. Those are uh, lure lock and very, very tiny fills you can do with this. Um, and the attachments for that are also going to be sent. You have to have O-rings. Everything between metal and metal will leak, so you know there has to be an O-ring between. Doing an accuracy test on this high bar for it. Uh, Two seats fitted with a two ounce piston, a little over two ounces, 67 ml, I believe it is. It's for accuracy, the person wants to be able to fill one ml with it as well, um, this two ounces. So we've set it up with a lure lock system with, uh, we can use different lure lock tips on there and that would be the one you'd want to use at one ml because it won't have a lot of any tiny amount in the end of the uh, drip of water will cause a difference in your measurement and when you're filling precious product you want to be very bang on but we can also be filling with this large nozzle uh, when we're filling two ounces and uh, still have great accuracy so um, when you're filling with this machine, you don't want to hold the pedal down. You just want to give it a quick tap so that the machine can decide the, uh, the level of uh, speed and um, how far it's going to go and how fast. So we're filling it at 9, 8 grams right now. So I'm going to try to move it up just a couple of hundredths of a gram if it's possible. Hold the pedal so I'm not shaking the scale. The first one's always going to be a little bit off. After the bunch you if you wait. So what you want to be testing is, is a few in a row. We're still at 0.98. So we're losing 0.02 gram, but it's filling at 0.98 very accurately. 
I think I just opened it up too much. So, you know, I adjusted it up just a three, two or three one hundredths of a gram with a tiny twist. But that's the kind of accuracy you can get um, with the micrometer like this, not a digital timer or something like that. This is a physical micrometer, and that's what makes these machines so amazing. We're getting one gram to, right now to the hundredth of a gram. Sometimes I'm getting a little drip that's popping out just from the speed of this film, and that's um, causing a tiny bit of inaccuracy. But The more my timing is consistent, the more the machine will be consistent. I've also got a very long hose on the output here, which doesn't help because every time I hit the switch, I pressurize the hose, and then that causes uh, a difference in, in the amount. So if I shorten this hose, I'd get even more accurate amounts. Also, the input hose here, I'm running a very long, windy hose all the way up into the machine. So that's also very challenging. Um, so it's doing really well. Now we'll try some uh, larger fill number. Set the machine up to approximately 10 ml now. I still have the very small lure lock on there. Uh, we could have switched it up to the larger one. You can see how slowly you can still dispense it out of a tiny lure log. And here, you know, you're getting, it's 10.01 is the full rate. So um, every time you're getting that 01 almost. But that's how accurately we can set the micrometer. Right, let's see if we can. Now, when you change speeds of the output, now you can see it's just kind of more dribbling out, you will get a difference in the amount. And again, see, there's that little drip again. So, okay. I can really speed it up now that I have a larger nozzle on there. And again, when we go to two ounces, you can go into that nozzle. So let's see what number we're getting. Uh, the speed and the nozzle will make a difference, so you do need to check.
first one's almost a little bit larger. The skin only goes up to 200, that goes to a hundredth of a gram, so the accuracy is good, but I to change the water. a slight nudge to try to get it right down to 10 grams. So at 10 strokes, we're just a 12 one hundredth gram off. And you can see the speed we were getting in there. Again, really accurate. So I just need to open it up a bit to get it to uh, exactly 10. Yeah, now we got it opened up all the way and we're expecting about 67. So 67.69. Three one hundredths off. That's Partly in my timing here, these delays in between like, for using this accurate scale. But if we used one that was to one gram, you would never see that this is coming within a few hundredths of a gram, even at full capacity.